today in chapter 7 we'll talk about pressure or stresses induced in the soil mass below the ground surface because of the load being applied on the ground surface such as from the foundation right foundation loads so we will not talk about the total stress or effective stress from the soil mass but we will talk about the stress which is induced as a result of load being applied on the ground surface first we'll talk about point load you must have talk about different kind of load in structures you got point loads you got uniformly distributed load you have got line loads okay first we'll talk about the point load point load p let's say if this is your ground surface and let's say you have a foundation here that is column load let's say p and you need to calculate what is this load divided by area become stress right load divided by the foundation area become what is the decrement or the effect of this load p let's say at a arbitrary point here at a radial distance of r and horizontal distance of a depth of g right from here to here is depth is g radial distance of r in that case delta sigma load divided by area becomes sigma so that sigma will be decreasing and let's say at this point that becomes delta sigma which is given by this equation p is the load g is the depth from ground surface to the depth at the point of interest wherever you want to calculate it r is your radial distance and rest of the thing is defined and now if you want to calculate the delta sigma below the center here in that case your radial distance becomes zero and this equations convert into this so we'll simply talk about stress induced in the soil mass below the ground surface as a result of load or stress being applied on the ground surface that is the focus of the chapter 7